Rahmati Allah Ati Rasulun and Rimikum and always a reminder for myself and Abdul Ajisu Da'ifa wa miskinu zalimu jahad and that Allah's rahmah and grace upon us inshaAllah and we asking for dressings and the blessings of the holy night of Jummah in this holy month and that Allah prepare us for the holy month of Zulhaj and Eid al Adha and all the realities of one year of, of hijrah moving into the Divinely Presence and leaving badness always going towards goodness. And that in this month of the ayna, the mirror and the reflection of the Divinely Presence that to dress us, bless us and forgive us all of what Allah wounds from us is in the beatific reality of Sayyidina Muhammad Our job is to wash and purify the self so that that reflection and that beatific reflection can reflect its majestic beauty upon our soul and that reflection is what gives the believer their honour and their status. Nothing that is uh, obtainable and doable from our end because the status is of an unrealistic, unimaginable reality. It's not something that can be achieved but this reflection is to the greatness of the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad and that's why our life is in the competition or not competition but in competing with each other in good deeds and good actions and in oceans of humility, taking a life of trying to be of service and humble in which we compete in our nothingness. That in that nothingness is the ocean of cleanliness and purity that reflects the beatific reflection of Sayyidina Muhammad not like in dunya where you try to achieve and get a rank and get a promotion and get a status and make a status for yourself and the dunya is based on materialism and they judge you based on the materials that you have and as a result they give you a status based on those materials. This competition into the Divinely Presence is a competition of humility and good character. How much we can struggle against ourselves to be humble and to have good character so that that reflection of the beatific reality of Sayyidina Muhammad reflects upon us. That's why this reality is something that can't be imagined. So imagine when the shaykh is teaching us this reality that we have the immense love of Sayyidina Muhammad direct yourself to that love, the unimaginable status of that reality and then busy yourself polishing. Imagine what reflections are dressing upon a servant with that understanding versus somebody who's not looking at that reflection, not focusing on Sayyidina Muhammad what can possibly be achieved that's even worth speaking about? The, the prayers that they made, the recitations that they memorized, the absence of good character because they're not enrolled in schools of good character. What is it they're, they're, they're achieving upon their reality if it's not this way? And that's why the turuqs they excel at a level that can't be understood by common people. Common people they take out the importance of facing Sayyidina Muhammad They take out the understanding of an ayna and mirror that when you're polishing you're reflecting that beatific grace. So what is it that they're achieving? Just the actions from their own and their own hands of what they have produced and, and brought before them? That's something that can't even, it's not even something that could be judged or compared in Divinely Presence. The action and amal of an individual is of nothing, is not even something visible to Allah's Divinely Presence in comparison 
to the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad So imagine that's why they teach this beatific reality so that we understand what an amazing reality we are facing and all its Divine grace and all its Divine secrets that are dressing that soul. And then the turuks come and teach you, polish yourself, do your zikr, work on your bad character, do your salawats, do your istighfars, do your awrads. And all the, the actions that Allah ordered for you of your salah, your zakah and all your hajj and all of the usul of Islam. But because they did all of that and they're now coming with voluntary worshipness, then that dress that Allah begins to dress upon the soul of these believing servants is something unimaginable. And as a result Allah describes, then I become the hearing in which you hear. Because He's teaching for us this Muhammadan reality that you are asking to reflect upon you, I am His hearing, I am His seeing, I am the knowledge in which He speaks, I am the tongue in which He speaks, I am the hands in which He touches, I am in the feet in which He moves And as a result of you focusing on that Allah then dresses us from that reality and that reflection. So we pray that in this holy month Allah completes these ni'mats, completes these favours upon our soul, busying ourselves with our salawats, our zikrs, our istighfars, our practices and the good deeds and, and good characteristics so that the holy month of hajj opens within the next week and a half or so. InshaAllah and begin to dress us from the ten holiest days of our, our one year of travelling into the Divine the Presence. And that Allah dresses us and blesses us with those realities and makes this year to be a completion of Divine the favours upon ourselves. And then again we begin in Muharram, Muharram with a new journey towards the Divine the Presence. Mm-hmm. Subhanahu wa rabbika ama yasifoon. Wa salaamun al mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha.